Hello YouTube and welcome to another episode of Modded Minecraft. We're here at the base and I've had a slight change of plan since last time. I'm not going to make an enchanting table, I'm actually going to use the thermal expansion enchanting system, which I've never used before, so it's going to be interesting to me. Using this arcane ensorcellator block. Um, should be pretty cool, hopefully. Um, looks like I'm... Thank you, loud vehicle, for driving much faster than you should be up this road. Um, I still going to need a leather road, so we need to find a cow. But once I've got that, I should be able to make the enchanting table needed for this. Um, so I've never made this before, so it's going to be a bit of an interesting situation for me. Um, generally speaking. I've never done this before. Hmm, should be fun. Uh, but it looks like I'm also going to need emeralds, uh, and though I don't have any currently, I do know where a village is, so it's not it's not all lost. There is still hope that I can get what I need for this, um, and the emeralds are needed for the Tome of Knowledge, which allows you to move XP from your player to the book, and you need to move XP from the book to the Arcane Sorcerator via the Fluid Transposer block. Uh, which is another machine I'll need to make, but that should be fairly easy, I think. Because I'm be making all the machine components now. Um, but I just need to find a cow first. Uh, and kill it for its resources. There we go. Problem solved. Excellent. Three. We'll just kill all of them, because... And they should respawn, because it's... 1.12 and mob spawning mechanics have been a pretty reasonable here. Um, as far as I remember. Plus it's been modified slightly by server settings and so on. Cool, that's actually quite a bit of leather. And the advantage of this is hopefully I won't need um, Oh, there's a village right here. Okay, even easier. And don't even have to go very far. Um, so long as the villagers don't die, that is. That's pretty important. Get rid of that. Don't want a monster spawner. Uh, iron. Nice. I could make saddles, so I don't need that really. I need another bucket, I suppose. Rotten flesh, I didn't have any of last night. And that doesn't work. I don't think a pair of shears, sure. Screw it. Uh, shoot King's drop. Don't need you right now. Cool. We can get ourselves some cobwebs if the game will really get high enough to do that. <laughs> Why is it such a bull like getting this stuff? Two cobwebs. I'll probably want more than that. Let's get four. Four that are here. Alright. Easy enough. I don't really care if I'm leaving a mess behind. It's fine. Uh, nice. There are villagers here. Which is nice. I'm not really seeing many enemy mobs, which is strange to me. Um, right. Let's get some emeralds from these guys then. The inventory is just a fucking mess right now. But. That's how things are, I guess. Wow, you've got an interesting perspective on what's useful. Okay, emerald. Right, you're gonna trade me again. Eight books for an emerald. I think I can do that quite easily because of this situation here. That should be pretty doable. Let's drop the string on the floor. Don't need that right now. Cool. Trade with you again. Get some more emeralds. What's the deal? What else have you got for me? Glass. Yeah. It might be worth keeping some of these villagers alive because I have been playing. I've been playing survival, like vanilla. It's you know I've, I've appreciated villagers more than I normally would do because. Well, 
they have they can have some good things to give you. Not often, but sometimes they do. Um, like certain enchanted books, for example, pretty useful. Shepherds. I don't know, like farmers around that I can just easily trade lots and lots of their own stuff to. Come on. Where are the, where are the farmers at? Stay away. Zombies. I hear an enderman. Where is it? I think I hear an enderman there. I thought I just heard an enderman somewhere. Oh, that, actually, that might be just the spell, because it does have a weird crackly thing after it actually fires, which I think is what I'm mistaking for an enderman right now. Yeah, I think it is. Stay away. Don't harm my villagers. I haven't finished trading with them yet. The librarian just pissing about outside right now. Don't think that's recommended, sir. Fucking drop everything. Um, holy shit. <laughs> we don't don't even need to worry anymore. We just fucking trade with this dude. Um, right. <laughs> Let's see if we can get enough emeralds to uh, get that sorted out. Why are these all fucking fishermen? Please, I don't want that. We can just fucking trade with this one guy who has sort of touch books, I guess. It's an option. Already fucking sells the books that I need. Um, I am gonna need to get more emeralds today. That's an important step of the journey. You a farmer? You have a very strange house, sir. Um, no, he's not a farmer. I don't know if farmers in this village is farms, there should be a farmer. It's only shepherds. What's going on? There's one gourmet, there it is. Alright, I see you coming over here. Mm, harvested carrot. That's suspicious. Gosh, darn you all. Why don't you have bloody villagers, like actual villagers, that I can actually make use of and completely abuse their trades for? Oh, you're a farmer. Hey. And you're a shepherd. So fuck off. Right, let's go trade with these dudes then. So, what can I get rid of? I guess I can get rid of these leaves. And this pumpkin I don't need. And that, I guess. Right, uh, let us trade with these villager friends of ours. So, wheat. Harvest all the wheat that they've got growing. It's fully growing. Actually, broke that one. No worries. I'm sure they won't give a shit. They're buying it off me anyway. Um, so, they clearly don't care that much about their own crops. Or maybe they do. I suppose that's another way of looking at it. They care so much they're willing to buy it off me to stop me from stealing it from them. Hmm. Maybe they do care. A lot. I feel like I'm not going to get as many emeralds as I was hoping I would from this venture. Uh, we don't need this arrow, sure. Carrots are going to be the uh, the thing I need here. More so than anything. Do you want to not follow me around like that pig, friend? It's very annoying. Please stop following me like that. All right. Carrots collected. Uh, 
see where else, what else can I loot? Close, close proximity. More carrots, nice. Yeah. Yeah, I think carrots are very much going to be the thing that's going to be giving me the most emeralds out of this. Maybe books from the bookshelves that I got earlier. Yeah, it's going to be a difficult one to work out. Mm. Overall, I'm probably not going to have that many. Fucking hell. Oh, great. Uh, I'm going to stuck in a hole. It's definitely what I wanted. Can confirm. And I'm just failing to dig myself out of it because I'm terrible at this game. All of a sudden. Then again, I was pretty. Yeah. 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 Fuck. Alright, are we good? We got everything we need? Not quite. It seems. Sell all the farms I can loot for all of their precious resources. I can sell to them their own stuff. Hope so. Um, you there? No, don't care about you. Don't care about you. Do care about you though. Good. One emerald. Yes. Winning. Can't buy any potatoes. Buy a few things with carrots. Six. Not bad. Not great either, but not terrible, I guess. What else can I get? Um, I'll trade this librarian more for these books, I suppose. Right, so what do you got? What are you doing? Eight. So I can get nine. I needed 18, wasn't it, for Silk Touch? So I'm halfway to getting that. Uh, a lot of these guys are shepherds, so I could, I guess, get a lot of wool. I have a fair bit of wool back in my base, so I suppose that's a fair thing to get. Um, right, let's have a look. Where am I on the map here? So I just gotta head this way. Right, uh, I'll see how much wool I've got. Um, and I could probably choose some more sheep on the way back, or at some stage, because there's an awful lot of sheep around, and I'm not exactly too concerned about them right now. Oh, and I also do have some wheat growing at my base, so that is another thing I can quickly sort out. Uh, I do want to bring carrots and potatoes back with me, though, because I do want to be growing some of those, probably, when I set up a proper farm. Uh, could be helpful in the future. Uh, I don't need this dirt. Probably more wasteful than I need to be in terms of dropping things on the floor, but luckily none of this stuff is particularly valuable. Oh, my internet has been down for apparently quite a little bit here. Not that it matters. I probably need to deal with this noise of cars going by all the time. I'll probably get that sorted for next time. Uh, hopefully, I did check the audio recording. It's Probably a, it's a lot better than it was, though. I do need to work on the sort of volume balance a bit because it's a little bit off. Um, but hang on. it's not easy getting things right these volumes, especially since Windows doesn't seem to actually be able to save my settings properly all the time, which is a very kind of it to not do. Um, uh -huh. Cool. Got more wheat now. Uh, I suppose I can also bring paper back with me to the chicken harvest room here quickly. Break these. Do, 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 do. I don't have that much growing here, but it's more than nothing. And I haven't processed any of the stuff actually in my base yet, so... I'll have at least a stack and a bit of stuff. 
is not bad. Are these looking now, yeah, right? Um, I think I have enough sugar canes. Probably just to do a bit, bit of stuff with. Put that in my I don't need these feast crystals on me right now. Don't need this either. Alright, let's carry up ourselves. All that we have got, all the paper and all the sugar canes. What else can I trade with them? Yeah, nothing particularly. I guess I could get like melons and pumpkins growing as well, but which are pretty good later on if I set like an automated farm for those. But uh, I don't know. Don't, I think that's later on from here, really, in terms of when it's actually valuable to have. Keep the coal with us. This has five vinculum. Okay, that's not bad. That's pretty. Good. That's pretty reasonable. Right. Uh, will this be enough? Probably not. But not much more I can really do other than trade with them until well, I've got the things I need. So I was hoping this would be a much easier task than making the arcane and source later and all that stuff. But since it was so conveniently there, um, Jim, I can't, I can't actually remember whether I misread that number. It might actually have been twenty-eight rather than eighteen. Um, in which case, I'm definitely gonna have to cut the recording and then come back in like probably an hour's worth of real life time while I'm actually collecting resources ready for this. I imagine. Um, hmm. Yeah. Oh. oh, hey, witch. I was expecting to find a witch around. Unexpected. Definitely. It's very spooky as well. Hmm. I mean, it's convenient that he happened to have exactly the trade I want, but I wish it could have been a bit cheaper. Maybe like 12 emeralds would be nice. It's better than whatever he said it was. Uh, I don't actually know exactly what it, what it was, but uh, it was certainly more than 12. It was either 18 or 28. I know it had an 8 in it. I wasn't really paying attention to the first number too much. Um, Because I just saw Silk Touch and thought, wow. <laughs> exactly what I need. Oh, yeah, wool. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm going to go back and get that. Gosh, I just swim back through the water again. Do I have enough wood to make a boat? Of course I don't. <sighs> of course I fucking don't. Yeah, actually with wool, it should probably be enough. Because I think, I think I saw a 16 wool trade there, which is not bad, I suppose one of the better ones. Easy for me to manage anyway, in terms of numbers. Just four to a stack. Uh, for one emerald, I think it probably is, isn't it? So, not exactly a good deal, but not a terrible deal either. Yeah, I'm definitely need to make a faster way to traverse this area, because this water is very slow to go through for some reason. But it feels like... I don't know, I... I, I I don't know if this is like slower than normal or what, but I, did, I wouldn't have thought that the one point twelve swim mechanic, uh, the one point thirteen snapshot swim mechanics, really made you this much faster. It feels like yeah, it's like kind of, it's kind of like the water's like made out of I don't know like sludge or something, and you're like wading through it like really, really, really slowly. Um, I don't know. It feels unnecessarily slow. I would say. Um, 16 more, nice. Not terrible. Okay, that should be fair. I'm gonna grab enough for a boat, because fuck me, I'm getting annoyed by this water. Alright, let's go. With Silk Touch, we can get um, mycelium, which means we can get the um, alienist stuff. Of course, I could have avoided all of this if we'd um, got ourselves bloody 
uh, the other thing. I forgot what it's called. Uh, Enderman. But yeah, it's also nice to just have Silk Touch, but something. Uh, put it on my drill, probably. I think. Probably a good place to put it. Um, or I could just make a shovel. Mm, it'd probably save it to put it on my drill, because then I wouldn't lose it. Here's skeleton. What are you? Bastard. He might be underground, because I didn't seem to be able to see him. He definitely sounds like he was right next to me. Right, uh, yeah, so hopefully this will be good. Uh, more sheep. Oh, yeah, the same ones I shooted before, but yeah. Shoot them again. <laughs> so, is he right for growing your wool back prematurely? Shouldn't have eaten too much all that grass. Stealing my grass from the world. Jerks. Um, very spooky. Right, what do you got? Fucking string. Oh, you know what? Yeah, the string trade probably would have been a good one because I can turn bloody wool into four string each using the pulverizer. That might be a good idea for me to do, and then I'll have a ridiculous amount of, re of emeralds. Yeah, okay, I would probably do that instead of what I'm gonna do. What I was gonna do here. I need that farmer again. Where is he gone? Yeah, I definitely do that. I definitely do the string trade instead of um, this wall trade. So much better. It's a significantly better trade, realistically. Right, 13. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, but if I need 28, then fuck. Um, yeah, I definitely have to do the string thing. Where the hell? Where did I put him? Is he here? Oh, he's here. Cool. Hey, friends. I say friend. You're in a hole. He's 20. Oh, this guy was 28, wasn't he? He was better than the other dude. Four on paper as well. Right, so let's get paper going. It's 18, so I can do it, in theory. I'm, th I'm two paper short. No. Uh, you, sir. Give me an emerald. Done. Right. You're now safe forever, by the way. Cool. Right, you. So touch is mine. So fuck you. Alright. Are these the fishermen? That's a 15 string. 16 string. Alright, I'm gonna protect these dudes with a couple blocks in front of their house. Oh, but they have they have darkness in their house, and it's also lighted up so that they don't have to worry about mob spawning in here. Uh, F7 to get the light level stuffs. So, yeah, F7's a pretty really fucking useful thing. It's like, tell me exactly where things are able to spawn. Um, yellow being for during the night only, and if it's red, like, uh, like underneath this path here, which for some reason isn't registering properly. Um,. Yeah, if it's red, then it means they can spawn there all the time. And that's really bad, basically. Anyway, we have Silk Touch now, so I can use the anvil at my base to um, get that going, and then we can uh, move on with that. I'm probably going to cut this video a lot, because there's an awful... It's pretty much just me running around back and forth trading with these villagers, so... We'll combine this with something else, probably going out to get the mycelium, I think. Um, yeah, so... Hopefully, when I get back, that is what I'll be doing. So I'll be back shortly, guys. So, yeah. so the plan is to grab these golden lassos, which will allow me to um, pick up the mushrooms and um, carry them to a different location, uh, which is nice. So I will be doing that. Let's put this away. Um, so if I look. The map here. Once this guy's been dealt with. Look at my map. The mushroom island is way over here, so I'll probably be cutting the recording and uh, just putting it with the next one when I get there. Because it's pretty far. Oh, and I also uh, put the silk touch on my drill. Nothing's actually changed since last time other than that, as far as I know. 
So, yeah, I'll be right back once I have arrived at the Mission Island. So, see you in a bit. Okay. I think there was a saddle in this chest. Yep, there was. Good. Right, let's go tame a horse then. And make this journey shorter. I was going to skip most of the journey, um, but... Well, I have pretty much skipped most of the journey, but uh, I feel like I should I should record me taming a horse, just because it's a thing to do. Um, hmm. Also, I get to demonstrate the, um, the silk touch working on this oil sand stuff from Thermal Foundation, which allows me, well, later on down the line I'll be able to turn that into crude oil and process that to make fuel and stuff, which is pretty awesome. Uh, oh, I don't think so. So, oh, no, we're not. Stay away, bastard. Stay away. I love this gauntlet so much. It's amazing. Um, where was that zombie? Get out of here. Oops, I hit that horse. Right. I guess we're not taming that horse, so let's go for this one, I guess. It's a low health, so that could be good. <laughs> it might mean it's fast. Um, you never really know, though, because it's pretty much just completely randomized. But they tend to have one thing they're better at. They tend to like me very much, this horse. Come on. Come up. Like me. Like me. Like me. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can like me. Yay. Right. Are you any fast? Are you fast? You're okay. Sure, whatever. We'll go with you. I don't really care that much. It's just a horse for this. Um, I might make some armor for it or something if I can find the time. This is actually pretty cool that I can use this on here. Um, yeah, he's not really a jumper either. Actually, maybe he is. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, that's alright. Actually, I think that's fine. That's like two and a half, maybe three. Seems seems reasonable actually. Now I think about it. Right, uh, we need to get our boat on the ground then. And we need you to get in the boat as well, because you're coming with me. This could be less than ideal. Uh -huh. Can I get him in the boat? No. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Boat. In. <laughs> I don't even know if I can get horses in boats, but you know what? He's not going to go far, so let's just put him there, pop a marker down here, and we'll find him quickly. All right, there we go. He won't go far. It's probably fine. Hmm. <laughs> I'm probably going to come back and I'll just see, like, <laughs> like a saddle on the floor with maybe, like, a couple pieces of leather, probably. Yeah. Just because this game is like that sometimes. Uh, am I heading the right way still? Yep. Just a bit more this way, maybe. I really like this minimap mod. It's it's very different to everything else. Um, and it's not, like... It's very... It's kind of, sort of... It feels more authentic when it's actually an item in your inventory that you need to have on you to be able to use it um, rather than it being just like just because just attached to your screen because reasons um, and also because it's got quite a nice sort of like look to it as well which is good I did have to make it a bit smaller which you could do in the configs because it was a little bit too big perhaps um, I think it was about well, not twice as big as it is now but you see where, like, the sea is on the horizon. It pretty much would cover, go all the way down to where the blue meets the black here, pretty much. So it's quite a lot better than it was. 
I would say. Right. Here we go. Mushroom Islands. Yay. Let's grab some of this mycelium, because that's the main reason we're here. The mushrooms are kind of an extra thing, just because... Um, because mushrooms are awesome, right? And I don't really want to have to come back here again to get them. Just tear this island apart, because it's annoying me. It doesn't need to be here. Oh, that's interesting. So the island actually disappeared on the map when I got rid of it. Okay, that's kind of interesting. That kind of suggests to me that it's like attached to certain blocks the way it checks to see whether that structure is actually there or not. Because I didn't actually get rid of all of it before it disappeared. But that's interesting that I actually like reads what blocks are there rather than. Um, you know, actually sees these non-existent structures, as it were. Right, so we've got... Okay, there are enough mushrooms. Good. Good, good, good. I don't need to worry about that, at least. So, golden lasso. Just right-click on a mob to pick it up. Easy. Only works on friendlies. Um, there's a cursed lasso to work on uh, hostiles. But that also requires them to be on low health to actually pick them up. So, that's a thing. Sorry, mushrooms, I'm going to destroy part of your island here. Because uh, it's got a nice covering of mycelium that I need. So, yeah. Because this quest, of course, was internally to get alienus. Now, oh, to get, uh, not alienus, a source of taint, actually, I believe it was. Vitium. I think, wasn't it? I don't think I needed alienus. Yes, yeah, it's vitium I needed. The taint, taint aspect. Um probably the easiest way to get it, I would think, apart from actually finding a tainted biome, but I don't really want to find one of those, because they're incredibly dangerous. <laughs> and the moment you find one, it pretty much just begins its conquest of the world, in terms of spreading out of its area. So... Yeah, you got to be careful about those. Um, I don't really need to harvest these big mushrooms, because I do live in a mushroom-infested forest, so no major need for it. Alright, are we good on these? We get like three more of that, and then head back to the base. Right, excellent, we have mycelium now, and mushroom cows. So, next episode I'll probably be trying to source the other elements that I needed for this particular quest. I can't remember what I necessarily need to do. I don't even remember what I was doing. It was it these pipes? Yeah, it was these pipes. Alchemia, which I can get from gunpowder. Alienus, which I can get from enderpearls, so I'll probably need to kill some endermen. Might do that off camera, depends. Uh, Vinculum, I've got from spiderwebs now. So, and Vitium, of course, we've just got this time. So, yeah, it's, it's looking good so far. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, not entirely certain how long this episode is going to be, but I'll probably do a lot of cutting to make it not stupidly long. Probably still going to be over half an hour, but hey, whatever. Um, it's a thing. <laughs> it's, all, it's all relevant. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time when we finish up this process, hopefully. See you then.